I'm about to show you how to create a PlayStation Network account using your PS5, which also means establishing a new username which will appear when you're playing online games. This process will work for anyone wanting to establish an account for the first time ever, or if they just want to create an additional account. Before doing this process, you need to have an established email address, and it has to be one that's not currently being used by another PlayStation Network account. If you don't have a spare email address, I have a video showing how to set one up quickly using Gmail, and I'll put a link to it in the description. You also have to have the console connected to the internet to do this process. First, you need to turn off your PS5, if it's not already, and then start it up. On the very first screen, select Add User. Even if you've already been using an offline profile on this screen, you still need to select Add User because a new PlayStation Network account requires a new profile. Select Get Started. Read the user agreement, if you wish, by selecting it and pushing down and scrolling through it. Hit circle to get back out of that and select the box that says I agree, then select confirm. Ignore the ID and password fields and select create an account. Select your region. Just know that after you have selected a region, it can never be changed again. Also select your language. Select next. Here you'll put in your birth date. Note that if your account gets locked in order to unlock it, they may ask you what your birth date is for this account. So it's logical to pick your real birth date, but I'll leave that up to you. Select next. Here you'll need to specify the email address you wish to have associated with the PlayStation Network account. Once again, it cannot be an email already used for another PlayStation Network account. Also make up a password, it has to be at least 8 characters, with at least 2 letters, 2 numbers, and 2 symbols. And you can't specify the same character 3 times in a row, so you can't say 999. You'll need to type that password in twice. Be sure to write it down somewhere and select next. Here you'll need to specify a first and last name. This is not the username. This is basically a secondary name that only some people can see. And it's also the name that appears on the profile that you pick when you turn on your PS5. I don't like to use my real name, so I'm just gonna put my YouTube channel name. Note that this is not permanent. You can change this first and the last name at any time on this profile. There's also a couple of advertising notifications you can opt into right here if you want. Select next. Put in your postal code, and when you do that, it'll fill in the rest of the information. Select next. Here you'll pick an avatar. This is what will stand out the most when people view your profile. Select whichever one you feel represents you the most, and hit next. At this point, you may also want to hit the like button on this video. Here's where you need to select your online ID. It has to be one that's currently not being used by someone else. It'll recommend some strange ones down here if you want to select one of those, but more than likely you probably want to create your own, so just start filling in the box. Note that they restrict you to the characters you see on this little keyboard. Letters, numbers, dashes, and underscores. That's it. There's no exclamation marks, question marks, or anything like that. Also note that you can change this ID later if you want. You can do it once for free, but each time you change it after that, they will charge you a fee. I created a video on how to change the username and I'll put a link to it in the description. Once you've entered the ID, it'll check to see if it's already taken, and if it is, it'll have you put in another one. Select next. It'll take you to this screen where you need to set the privacy settings. It gives you some blanket options and it's not very clear on what these actually do. I recommend you go to Customize Settings. The top section determines who can see that first and last name that you specified earlier in the process. Select each one and pick whichever option you prefer. There's one here that specifies who can see your friends list. Then there's who can see your online status and gaming history, who can ask to be your friend, who you can interact with, and finally, notifications about crossplay invitations. Select Apply. Here they are asking if they can use your usage data to make improvements. You can change that button that says limited data only and change it to something else. When it's set, select confirm and continue. Here choose either to enable or disable personalized ads on sites or apps. 
This screen is pretty much the same, but it has to do with recommendations in the PlayStation Store. Here's some more legal documentation. You have to select agree, then confirm. Now it has sent an email to the email address that you specified earlier. This is what that email looks like. You need to go into that email right now and click the verify now button. The screen on the PS5 will automatically flow to this security screen where you have the option of adding a four digit passcode to your account. Basically what that does is when you turn on your PS5 and select this new profile, it'll require you to enter that code like an ATM machine. If you do create that code, you can also require the user to enter it whenever you're making a purchase in the PlayStation Store. Just click OK here. Here you have the option of setting up two-factor authentication. This is similar to the passcode on the previous screen, only it'll send a code via text message and you have to enter that into the PS5. Or you can use an authenticator app to pretty much do the same thing. Go into those if you wanna set those up. If not, you can choose do this later. Now you can add a phone number to the account if you want, or select do this later. If you do choose to add the phone number, it'll send a code via text message to that phone. That message looks like this. You just enter the code into the box that's on the PS5 screen and select verify. Select OK to this screen if you get it. It'll show your avatar. And once you click OK there, it'll show a message about family settings. And once you click OK to that, it brings you to the PlayStation menu. You can see your new profile in the top right of the screen. This new profile will also be selectable when you turn on your PS5. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Have a great day, everybody.